Welcome back guys to our class of Mark and Mark here. Let's go straight up to what's up in the NBA. What's our topic today, Ingrid? I definitely want to go like from how each play from each team now going into the finals, so like the Warriors in their pathway and like, you know, Toronto in their pathway, especially. Yeah. You know, how they made it to the finals now to where like, you know, from playoff series all the way up to the Eastern and Western Conference Finals. What are your takes on it? Yeah. Yeah, what do you feel about yeah, like that whole journey from the war let's start with the Warriors, I yeah. guess. Like cool. Let's say what you what you thought about the whole Warriors path to the finals. The whole like, Warriors path to the finals, I thought it was yeah. a great path because yeah. they found a way to sweep Portland even though they didn't have Kevin Durant. Mm -hmm. And then there's been a lot of games that they've been going through adversity and things. And right now, like, it shows that they're playing better without Kevin Durant. So I feel like mm -hmm. that's great. Yeah. And I agree too with, uh, with him with regards to the kind of, it tested the Warriors in terms of what can they do when when adversity hits them? Because the very first adversity they hit was DeMarcus Cousins. Like, yeah. what do you do when the person that, you know, you had a really good team and you added a piece like DeMarcus Cousins. Let's see what, you know, it's a for sure win in the championship. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden he goes down. And then they continue to kind of, you know, to beat the teams that they were supposed to be with regards to the Rockets and then the Clippers. And then Kevin Durant hits that injury and, then almost, and then all of a sudden they're all like, Oh, like they don't have a chance against Houston now, and then they beat Houston twice without Kevin with Kevin Durant out in the third and fourth quarter, and then beat them at the, in Game Six. So that kind of tested them in terms of what they are as a team when they are faced with adversity, and, and they were kind of reminded with them what their slogan was, which is strength in numbers, and that's how they were able to go through the finals, which is really relying not just on Kevin Durant or, or DeMarcus Cousin, but relying on that ball movement that they've already had and the depth that they have with, you know, people stepped up, like Quinn Cook, um, Jordan Bell, uh, Jordan, Jordan Jareb, Kevon Looney, all these players that showed up Looney for them. Looney was amazing. Looney yeah. was that key was, for was them, really key. right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess to me with you guys, my thoughts is like, is there any even any questions like are they a better team without Durant are they, are they a better team with Steph leading it or is it just like is it just like hocus pocus like they're much better with Durant it's just that we're they can't sustain this with just Curry and Klay Thompson I feel like that they yeah. can even without KD I mean yeah. him being one of your favorite players but like I just yeah. feel like even without him they can still yeah. pursue or like you know yeah. I'm not saying they can win this but like I really want my Raptors to win so yeah I'm just yeah. saying like they, ha they still have that chance with or without KD. Mm -hmm. I feel like that they have more movement mm -hmm. compared to when they did have KD. So like with KD, it was just always like give and go, right? Yeah. And he would always come in clutch and like, you know, put up the shot, right? Yeah. So I feel like now with KD down, like KD out is just now, they can be able to get more movement. Like what I said before, you know, mm -hmm. Steph Curry with the pick, like with the pick and roll and everything. Mm -hmm. um, Dray Draymond as well too, right? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. What do you feel about them, Durant? I feel or without, like without Durant. Kevin Durant, they can still go far, but with Kevin Durant, they'll be able to put more pressure onto the Raptors. Mm -hmm. That the Raptors have to focus on more now, Clay, Steph, mm -hmm. and Kevin Durant moving around the floor with the ball in their hands, so it opens up the floor more. Yeah. And Jamon Green, the fact that he's running PG right now, would be mm -hmm. good. What do you feel like Durant brings to the team uh, with what they already have? Like, what does Durant bring to them? He bring mm -hmm. that. He brings that scoring threat that teams have to. Focus in on him, so now Clay, Clay Thompson can run off this back screen, go get open for a three. Curry can come, drill the ball, kick it to him, link, pass the ball around, and then it's easy scoring. Yeah. And Katie is the type to just always finish it, finish it with a shot, right? Like yeah. what you're saying. So, yeah. uh, just like even so, we they still have that chance from the way I see it, though. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I I just think that. Um, they're a different team with Durant and they're another... It's a different dynamic, is what different, I noticed. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's, you can't just like add it and all of a sudden, you know, it's the same thing with the Lakers concept when they try to put together five different Hall of Famers with Gary Payton, oh, Carmelo, yeah. and, and, you know, and they tried that with Dwight Howard and Steve Nash, they thought, with Kobe and Powell, and they thought that was going to put it together, but there's just something about chemistry with the NBA that you can't really predict how a team will be, no matter how good they are individually. Yeah. It doesn't sum up as a whole. And sometimes it's just about the chemistry. Like if you watch the Boston Celtics when they had Garnett and, and Pierce and Allen and Rondo, that was just a team that was built with the right chemistry. So uh, maybe let's go to the Raptors now. Their path to the finals. Um, what did you guys? What are your thoughts about how they got to when they started? You know, the first game they lost to the Magic to where they are now. Where they're in the finals. Yeah. I felt like Orlando wasn't really that much of a challenge. Mm -hmm. I mean, some like some of the guys like what Augustine. Ross, they, really, they did fairly well within that, those series, but like, I felt like that was pretty easy for us. Um, then it came to, you know, us with Philly. That's where kind of, 
stuff got a little bit iffy, going a little bit up and down and everything too. Mm -hmm. So, um, and for us to even beat the Bucks and a lot of us and a lot of fans were pretty like, like let's be honest, we felt like there wasn't that much. There was some hope when you're we beating, when, like when you we were facing the Bucks, right? So like when we were down too, next you know people are just like suddenly going to give up on that. Next you know we beat them four straight going mm -hmm. on, right? So I just felt like we've had it's a really good Cinderella story, is what I have to say, for, like for, especially for, about the Raptors. Mm -hmm. But overall, I just felt like. Um, not really much for adversity when, when it comes to the injuries, but let's say we have a lot of, we've, we've faced a lot more than, than what like, you know, the Warriors have gone through right now. Yeah, yeah. What do you feel about the Raps uh, past the finals? I feel like the Raps past playoffs, that they made a lot of history come going down to the finals, mm -hmm. being swept by Cleveland last year, mm -hmm. to come yeah. back now and lose the first two games against mm -hmm. Bucks, yeah. and then to go four straight and figure out Giannis's offense, figure out like, how to stop him. I feel like it's going to be, that, that was great. And then to stop Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, it's been great this past playoffs to show that the Raptors can do it with the new coach, Kawhi Leonard, mm -hmm. and the team chipping in with Danny Green, Kyle Lowry, and more. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you guys felt, what do you guys feel like, what has Kawhi done for this team from the beginning of the playoffs? Till, because we didn't really know how far we could really go in this mm -hmm. playoffs because we thought um, we're a great team, but against the Bucs, everyone's favoring the Bucs, the Celtics, and the Sixers. What do, you th what do you feel like Kawhi has done for us this whole postseason and stuff? And it's not even in regards to the regular season. Yeah. Um, really, really hard on the defense. He was really to uplift us when it came to the like for us being on defense. Like, mm -hmm. even though like a lot of us, a lot of the, a lot of us, but a lot mm -hmm. of the players didn't like put up their numbers, but he did. But still, like they were able to give it mm -hmm. to him and like you know still be able to defend even mm -hmm. though without like putting up their own offensive numbers on like even going into the paint or whatever going from outside like even so with like let's say with Danny Green yeah. the whole issue with him going offensively but defensively yeah. he was great right yeah. so um just the way I see it like that's the way I've seen like Hawaii you know like revolve the team around like defensively but that's about it from what I've been seeing yeah yeah, yeah. right now I see that Kawhi and his brought a lot to the table because last year the Raptors was put in this position mm -hmm. and I felt like DeMar DeRozan couldn't have hold up on the defensive end. Mm -hmm. And now Kawhi Leonard is coming to bring in great defense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then now he's scoring, opening up the floor for the team, giving them more hope. Mm -hmm. We had this, um, I know, uh, people have been talking about it, just watching him play. Is it the closest thing right now that reminds us of what Michael Jordan was able to do or what how Jordan plays? Like, do you guys agree with that? Yeah. In my eyes right now, I feel like I agree that Kawhi mm -hmm. Leonard is the closest player to playing like Michael Jordan because mm -hmm. the grit that Michael Jordan had, the defense, mm -hmm. yeah. the, athletic, the athletics to go up in the air, the mm -hmm. adversity that he had to play through, I feel like Kawhi Leonard is the closest. Mm -hmm. you agree with that? I definitely agree with that. And yeah. just by even by body type and everything, they, they are quite similar Same. anyways. Yeah. Like by a wingspan, they're like, what, seven? Yeah. I can't remember off seven, four or something. Yeah. But like, and even just by, you know, Quibing the claw and stuff, right? Just yeah. by that hand grip, even like same as Jordan too, right? Yeah. So, I feel like they do have similarities, like body shape wise, athleticism, and like by game. Yeah, mm -hmm. I see that a lot. It's mm -hmm. so simple, but it's just it's not as it's flashy. Effective, yeah. It's effective. He like, doesn't have the swag that Michael has, but yeah, in terms of he's the not as flashy. That he has, yeah. yeah, the the way he affects on both ends. Like I, I think my conclusion with this comparison is that. He has kind of elevated the games of players that needed to be like uh, his his complimentary players like Lowry, Danny Green, Fred VanVleet, Marc Gasol, Ibaka. All these players have elevated their game on both ends of the court because he was able to elevate his game on both ends of the court. Because the way he's, Michael he's just did. a great two-way player. Exactly. That's just what it is. So right? in the it's offensive the side, he did it, and the defensive he did, it. and that's what Michael did for players like Scottie Pippen, Pippen, Steve Kerr, yep. Rodman, Tony Kukoc. And, and Ron Harper and all these players that really he needed to win a championship, right? So, well, that's all we have, guys, for NBA Hi uh, What's Up in the NBA. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you guys enjoyed Elijah here as our special guest. Before we end the show, well, before we end the segments, as we have them for just the segment, any last word you want to say to your audience? Camera's right there. Yeah. I'd, like to, I'd like to say thank you for you guys having me coming here. It's been my, my first show ever coming on. It was a great experience. I'd like to say, Make sure you either keep on having fun in basketball. Mm -hmm. where, and and where can they find you? On it, uh, social media handles. Where can on they find social you? media, you guys can find me on Instagram. I am Elijah Fisher. Mm 